Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Cookie Cast. Today on Cookie Cast, it's the football podcast. You can't see the forest for the teas. And, uh, well, we've got a special guest for you today. Join Paul, James, and myself, and our special guest, Mr. Stuart Woodmancy, as we dive into last week's games, get into the coming up games, and, uh, well, you know it, there's a quiz. So, uh, yeah. Um, if you're not watching us on YouTube, check us out over on the YouTube channel. It's uh, it's worth it because you know there's video and you get to look at our beautiful faces. So here we go. This is Cookie Cast. You can't see the forest for the teas. <laughs> Go, Paul. Hang on. You can do it. Is this the most responsibility Paul's had on a podcast? He said, he said it up once. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, Stu. <laughs> don't start with that. <laughs> don't start with what? <laughs> start with what? <laughs> well, here we are. Once again with the Renegade Masters. Power to the dad, I don't even know the fucking way that song. Something damage your power D4 to the D4 damage. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy just sat there just thinking, I fucking know this. Was it D4 damage? Feel behaviour or something like that. Is that right, Andy? Back once again with the Renegade Masters. Power to the people. Something's on the something. Something's on the something. In true football podcast. Just gonna. In true football podcast sense. Straight into something that's not absolutely. <laughs> it's just this is fully, in. fully on, on base, on par, on topic. Come for the football, stay for the tangent. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, Somebody. You, like you haven't done a um, kick us introduce, off. Uh, introduction, introduction for a while. Yeah, but stupid. But Stu's here. That is true. Uh, do do I need an introduction? Oh, I, I mean, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to do it. <laughs> So yeah, you can hear a different voice or see different person. Hi, I'm back, and I've been invited along, kind of crashed too. Um, <laughs> you can't see the forest for the teas. Matt still don't like that 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 name, does he? But but no, everybody's he's, uh, well, he thinks it's a diss because it's like oh, you can't see forest because Burr are that good. Yeah, how's that to be paid to the table this season, was he? But everybody's joining on such an important week in in the history of the podcast, surely, because. Of what happened. Yeah. I thought you were talking about this. Podcast Derby. Uh, the podcast Derby. Uh, the, if, uh, the, how, how can it like go anywhere else other than this week in football? Because uh, uh, well, absolutely. Yeah, no. <gasps> oh, it's just it, with it, with that injury, it's made me think. What was that one guy in the crowd that just said it really went quiet, and then he just he came out with something like "smoggy bastards." <laughs> <laughs> it was just <laughs> one guy. <you> know? <laughs> There you go. It's by my foot. Um, Do you want to cover up any other things thing. before we get into the meat of it then? There was something, go there was something I completely forgot what was. Oh, um, was it Liverpool losing every game possible? No. Side note. Hooray. <laughs> no. <laughs> Controversy. Um, no, I think it was um, international football based. They've uh, drawn the next set of Nations League groups, haven't they? Are they? Yeah. Right, okay. So England are in a group with Belgium. Great. Two losses. <laughs> um, oh, balls. It's going to turn into yes. Eurovision. Belgium, nil point. Yeah, basically. <laughs> um, I've, I've forgotten now, but I was looking at it last night. Uh, are we still... So, so basically, we're still, we're still, in, group, we're still in the Group A section. So we haven't got Germany. Did you, Germany dropped into Group P, didn't they? No. Did they? I don't think didn't so. Germany, cause didn't France and... Because they were in the group with France and Holland, weren't they? That was a tough group, to be yeah. fair. Yeah. Didn't Germ- I think Germany dropped, it, dropped into the 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 B League. Well, I'll tell you something, James. I'll, I'll, once yeah. I've found out, I'll let you know. Yeah. Oh, obviously the main thing to talk about is, uh, is probably the, um, the two bans that were given out this week. So the first ban was obviously to lead his goalkeeper. For the, so you got the eight-game ban 
for the racist thing with Lecco yeah. from Charlton and then the second band was given out to Daniel St- is it Daniel Sturridge? yeah for the gambling for betting on football so yeah. apparently if you racially abuse somebody you only have to serve an eight game ban whereas if you bet on football you get a three month one mm. not exactly sending <sighs> the right message not there, really sending the right message you're absolutely right Stuart Obviously, not that I'm condoning gambling in any way, shape, or form either. But well, we do. Well, as a case, we absolutely condone gambling. As we said, gamble more people and it's not, not responsibly. It's not gambling when you know as much as about football as we do. Whoa, don't know what, I don't know what, what you're you saying. Do. Don't know what you're t- what you saying, yeah, James. Yeah. Pretty sure that was a um, statement of lies the bank statement. He, I tell you what, he nearly, I, he nearly pulled off a blinding belt on Saturday when we were out. I have a this week in football. Go on, Andrew. I made a note and everything. I wrote, right. I wrote it down. Uh, I believe Bayern Munich. Yes. Had a kickabout. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, this, yeah. is, this is with Hoffenheim, I believe. Mm. Something to do with Hoffenheim's owner. Hey. So the I crowd mean, dropped a load of banners that were like. You shit and you know you are. <laughs> oh, so they <laughs> went off the pitch, didn't they? No, no, no. no. They finished, oh, they just finished they, the game. They oh, yeah, but they played out 30 minutes, minutes, minutes like keep ball or whatever. So, yeah. somebody, somebody's gone to the um, to the, the fans and been like, you need to take them down, don't, don't be dicks. And they're like, don't be dicks. Mm, it was no, the players, I've seen that there was, was Muller was one of them, wasn't there? There was Muller and another guy that just went and pleaded with the crowd to like, get rid of them else we're not playing. So they took him away, right? And then, put them and back then when they start playing again, just put them back down. And they were like, nah, I'm not doing um, So the, both teams were like, fuck this. It was like 15 minutes just to add a kick about. But they were, that wasn't a race, I don't know whether I just, that wasn't a race thing, was it? It was just they got some issues no. with the owner of yeah, Hoffman. Yeah. yeah, it was nothing to do with race. Yeah. It was, we don't like the guy that owns the club. And also the was it buying were also six nil up at the time or something. <laughs> so you know, game was kind of done anyway. A little bit, yeah. Right, so going back to the Nations League thing, it's four groups of four teams in the League A. So Group A one is De Nederlandsch, Italy, Bosnia and Herzegovina, and Poland. How were Bosnia in that? I have absolutely no fucking idea. Mm. So did they get promoted then? They Possibly. They, they certainly weren't in Group A before. You then have in Group A2, England, Belgium, Denmark and Iceland. Oh uh, yeah, we always beat Iceland as well. So. Yeah. Group A3, Portugal, France, Sweden and Croatia. And Group A4... Is Switzerland, Spain, Ukraine, and Germany? So Germany have oh. been demoted to the B groups. The eagle-eyed amongst you will have noticed there that the uh, the first team in each group was the four that qualified for the semi-finals last time. Yeah. So Portugal, the Netherlands, England, no, no, no. Switzerland. So. The bracket for the semi-finals will be the winners of group 1, 2, 3 or 4 will play the winners of group 1, 2, 3 or 4 mm-hmm. and then the other semi-final will be the winners of group 1, 2, 3 or 4 will play the winners of group 1, 2, 3 or 4. Right. And then it'll be basically exactly the same as it was last time. Um, it doesn't say... Oh, then you've got League B. Oh, we could, we could be here for ages. Christ Almighty. Let's just like, let's just focus on on the league that everyone really cares about, which is Group D two, consisting of Gibraltar, Liechtenstein, and San Marino. Um, Scott. Oh no, there's only three <laughs> teams in that one. All oh, right, why? Because these are the absolute shittest of the shit. But the, they couldn't have just found another country. Because D one has the Faroe Islands, Latvia, Andorra, and Malta. In the other group with three, I reckon those teams could play each other and by could still finish top of that division. <laughs> <laughs> but surely they, surely they can find 
a FIFA member country just to make up the numbers. But it's not a FIFA member country. Oh, a UEFA member country to make up the numbers. Who's it going to be? Bear in mind, if you've already got San Marino in there, well, how many, maybe so a how smaller many, than if, San Marino, so, other than the Vatican. So if, basically, the, what you're saying is you've got 16 groups there. A1 to 4 through to D1 to 4. So A1 to 4, B1 to 4, C1 to 4, D1 to 2. Right, so you've got 14 groups. Yes. So four, four, yeah, four, 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 56? 57 teams. Because there's one of three. One of three. Well, we'll now make it 55. <laughs> Welcome along to Maths for the Insane. There's, uh, there's Carol Vorderman in the corner there. I, think oh, it's I did get I think, a 2-2. Two, two, so. But surely there must be more than 55 We'll get to that, Paul. We'll get to that. In UEFA. I don't think there is. Right, OK. Plus as well, if we're going, I know that it's Premier League, it's technically a different thing, but if you go in all like American style with a Hall of Fame, couldn't they make up an all star? If I just read the fucking first part, that would have altered out. Go on then. The 2020, 2020, oh for fuck's sake, the 2020 to 2021 UEFA Nations League with the second season of the UEFA Nations League, an international association football competition involving the men's national teams of the 55 member nations, or member associations of UEFA. Put an extra point down for James on the quiz. Absolutely. Or put, or put a negative point down for Paul on the quiz. <laughs> oh, can we do that? Probably makes Basically, more sense. the hour leading up to the oh. quiz, can we just start deducting points for? For every, for every minute it goes on. I've, I've, I've got it. You're turning it into QI it. for football. Right? Point, right? So, <laughs> rather than me not getting a point if I get the question wrong in the quiz, I get a minus point if I get the question wrong. I don't like this. No, Although it doesn't no. really matter because he gets like nine there's, handica- there's handicapping for you. I'm confident that you'll beat him at some point and that will take the edge off it. Yeah, I don't, I don't want an easy match. It will never happen. It, well, it's already oh, happened. You might be ill one week or something. And I'll still be ill every week. I am, I am constantly weak. ill. He's weak. He's a weird person. Weak. Uh, so yeah, so well, we're saying at work today that you know if there's an outbreak of of Corona, it, it first one against the wall. He's definitely patient zero, isn't he? No, you are. No. Speaking of the uh, Corona thing, did you see the news today about the Syria games? No. The Italian government have ordered them to be played behind closed doors for the next month. Well, they did that with the. Uh, we the watched one, didn't we? The um, game, Milan. Milan versus. Yeah. <laughs> No, it was Europa League, not that. Not, yeah, yeah, I was thinking. In, uh, um, in the first, who, who the hell did they play? Oh, I can't fucking remember. In, in I know that. Played. It it does make a nice change if if games are going to have to be closed, uh, play behind closed doors. At least it's not because someone's been racist or something yeah. for a change. So. Did, all I can remember from that game is that Lukaku had. A, have you seen that? <laughs> I'd like to say no, but unfortunately that one will be. Well, I think the ball came in. He basically had a had a shot. The did he? Was it a header? It. Was the shot a header? I'm, or I'm pretty he sure. Fall over? I think he. I think he went with his feet, but he fell, fell over forward. in the process. The keeper saves it, but just sort of punches it back onto Lukaku falling down. And it comes off his head and just loops <laughs> over the keeper and goes in the goal. He looks a bit sheepish after it. Like he's like, I can't yeah. celebrate. It's kind of like the opposite of when the ball hits the post, hits the keeper and goes in. That's like, yeah. yeah. At least it doesn't go down as an OG then. True. And <laughs> obviously, obviously that's a couple of the, a couple of thousand Gs in his pocket for his uh, goal bonus. We, we were talking <laughs> the other day, but I remember one of the first games I ever watched on you know, Italian football. Gazzetta, on it Gazzetta Sport Italia. Gazzetta and it were, I can't Italia. remember who the player was, but it was definitely for Foggia. They were in the, they were in Serie A at the time, and he's hit a penalty, and he's he's like proper spanking it, and it's hit one post, gone across it, the other post, and come out, and I'm like, Jesus Christ! Like how often is that going to happen? And it wasn't like rolling along the line. It was this was like about you know air. four or five feet of <laughs> or something like that. It's like, it's one of those, isn't that like one of the most like popular YouTube videos of all time? The 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 video of the kid taking a penalty against his mate. And the keeper, like the uh, the guy, takes the penner, 
and the keeper watches it, watches it hit the, hit the post and come back and smack him straight in the face and it takes him out. And it goes completely. in. No, like, uh-huh. the, the video just sort of cuts to the guy taking the penalty going, <laughs> and sort of falling over laughing because he's absolutely killing I love him. watching those penalty blooper videos. All them views on YouTube and 250 quid from you have been framed yes. as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um... I don't think there's anything else more that's happened really, uh, other than certain games. Just Liverpool just having a bit of a waffle. Yeah. I think. <laughs> awesome. I, you, you know how I feel about that. So, and, and I'm pretty sure everybody, if they've heard me on here before when we've talked about Liverpool and I happen to have been on that, you know. <coughs> I'm just gonna have to get a spit bucket installed in the corner. <laughs> no, do, thank you. Do we, as 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 you in, do we want to give you a little bit of a segment for Saturday? Part part of me wants to say uh, let's let's not discuss Hull ever again. Oh, uh, um, yeah. I think what what was it the text that I got from you? Football can can do one. Fo- football can go fuck off. Yeah, basically. yeah. That that's kind of how I feel about football at the moment. Um, for my team. The worst, yeah. The worst thing for me, sort of like from a personal perspective, is that at the moment there's only one team worse than us in the form table, and it's your team. Really? And it's a case of right. So Borough might go down. The only thing that's going to save them is your team being shitter than us and going down. Yeah, because uh, there's was it three positions, but there's only like three points between. Yes, yeah, so I think with that point we got. Which oh, spoiler for uh, a little bit later, the point that we got against Forest, I think now puts us three behind. You. It's it's a point that you probably and your goal difference after to Saturday will now be worse than it was it's, by quite a considerable yeah, amount. It's like, a I tough mean, couple of games in it when you've got to play Leeds and Forest in consecutive games. The way that the table's looking, but you'd, you t- you'd absolutely take a point out of that. Yeah, so. you would. Disappointingly for me, but it. it you can't legislate for Wigan. You can't legislate. Well, in exactly the same way as earlier in the season, you, you couldn't know. legislate for Borough going to West Brom and winning. No. You could not legislate for Wigan going to West Brom and winning that game. So it is what it is. It's at football. Least, at least Barnsley ended their weird <laughs> run of. Well, they'd won three on the three spin. On the spin they? It'll be it'll be an interesting one this time around if we do do the Hull predictions because the last time I was in this room and we talked about Hull. Your man over there, Bowen, one nil. How's that going to work this I week? Don't know any of the I might just have to say zero. <laughs> I, I th- I th- hey, but I'm in the room. I'm in the room. Foreshadowing, James. Let's let's not let's not get our uh, predictions for any whole scores out the window just yet. But I mean, it's going to be interesting in two weeks' time. I think. Oh yes! Mm. I just can anyone smell a relegation six pointer? I thought you were just going to say nil nil. I think we've yes. got. In fact, we might have our next three or four games are all against teams that are there or thereabouts in the relegation scrap. So you mean you can decide the mm. fate of the league? Well, as in we can decide the fate of Middlesbrough Football Club. Yes. Yeah, but if you played all the teams around you, though, that can have like a big impact. I suppose, but we'll see. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so I suppose if if if, if there's nothing else, we'll, uh, we'll we'll dive into last week's games, or game, as it were. Just the one game, wasn't it? Just the one game. Yeah. You wanna uh, tell us about your experience? That game was. I'll tell you something. Middlesbrough versus Nottingham Forest. Why don't we do you? Uh, we'll do you one better. We'll give you the not just the experience of the game. <coughs> the, what the did you experience eat? of what you ate? the evening <laughs> how many wanker beers did you put inside you James zero Week no wanker beers I was driving I had a I had an Amstel at we'll reveal where we went because obviously you'll be impressed at this an Amstel before the game just a cheeky Amstel Lewis oh. managed to have a flavoured generic <sighs> again he did it again the, the 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 waitress who was quite cute a, came over. And he was like, "Can I get you? Can I get you any drinks to get you started?" So we were like, "Beer, beer." And then he was like, "What flavored jeans have you got?" And she was like, "She did a little 
<laughs> then, then he proceeds to have an argument with her because he wanted a rhubarb gin. But she only had rhubarb and ginger. He's like, don't like ginger. She's like, you won't you even taste it. You can't even taste it. I'll taste be able it. to taste it. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Seriously. I thought he was supposed to, you know, own a penis. Yeah. Anyway, and then I had uh, not a wanky beer, but at half time, I know we're jumping. Queued up for the beers. I was like, he's like, what do you want? I was like, oh, I'm feeling still full after the food, which we'll get back to. Mm. Um, can I can, can I have a lager and lime? Spotted the bottle of lime juice on the uh, side. So he's like, yeah, right then. And as we got further to the queue, he's like, I, fa- I fancy Bloody a lager and lime so Put it in my head now. <laughs> So he's, he goes. This up. is Captain Radler in the corner, though. If you'd have asked him to fill it with lemonade, they'd have done he that. He wasn't too. happy, though. So he gets the he gets the lager and limes, and I, I, the first one was like, he's like lager and limes, and she turns around looking dumbfounded, like he'd asked for. It was uh, I might, yeah, it was probably looking for Amy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a girl. Yeah. It was a girl pulling the pints. And I, like, we, we, she's obviously Brandon never been asked see. before, but obviously this is in the away end. Yeah. So it's not as if she's serving. Tea siders all the time. Yeah. So she turns. So she turns around. And the woman goes, "Yeah, I've got some lime or whatever." And we'd already spotted it. Then I knew it had gone wrong. He wasn't watching, but she'd like pulled the lager and left a bit of time space for the lime. In a pint pot, she'd left about an inch space. Ooh. It was basically it was like three quarters of a pint. <laughs> See? And then a little bit of lime. But that so what we got off it was, he, oh, was he was so I necked mine basically because I was I was well into it if I'm honest he struggled oh, and then the, like most of the second half he's like <laughs> I think it was because it was uh, well so now we can go so the now. lime was curdling with the uh, mushroom oil mushroom mushroom sauce. sauce you essentially got a lager so we went with Parliament we minute. managed to go to Central Park yeah where she did the challenge really not do the challenge what right. Did you have enough time? You have to book it in advance, don't you? Also, this guy, if if he did, we say this on a podcast. Or was it just one minute? We I were said that I could do it in forty minutes. I still maintain I could. So, it was a standard, Parmo, chips, optional side salad. That was the standard. In, incidentally, Lewis quote. Mr. Healthy, the athletic one out of us, don't drink lager because not interested in you know, salad or vegetables. Me and Paul got the salad. Good lads. Dress yeah. salad. Good lads. Nice salad. It's good. You know, good to cut through the grease. Cheer of our grease. <laughs> was, that the, was that the picture you sent me? Was oh that yes. Really well? Grease although although he oh, had yes. he got the we got the with the not, I was going to say were there not chilies on the one chilies. oh yes chilies and peppers pepperoni. and pepperoni his was loaded I think you've got an easy ride to be honest because please explain James mine and Paul seem to have a Those hell of Lewis's. a lot more be- mine mine and Lewis's, sorry I seem to have a hell of a lot more bechamel than yours did you say this but makes it fit down easier oh sorry, fine. it's it's oh, fitting. Just, and it's you've it only ever had one authentic Middlesbrough one haven't you did you have a palm one a bap on the way to the ground oh that sounds good I have had yes although we no I've had two up there because there was uh, one that was just in a tray and open it was almost like so like in Hull or in York or whatever you'd go and you'd get fish and chips open not in Middlesbrough Give me that deep fried chicken smothered in cheese. Too fucking right, bitch. It, do, uh, do you know what? It's the first time I've ever had a palmer. Very much enjoyed it. Good, isn't it? I couldn't finish the chips. But I did finish my palmer. That's fair enough, though, because it is pretty solid going. I have a question. What? Yes, Andrew. You didn't finish your chips. Yeah. You do know that's part of the challenge. Yeah, I know, but I wasn't doing the challenge. Had I been doing the challenge... I wouldn't have been... Ta- we were a bit time con- time limited. So not only has he said he's not finished his chips, but it would have been double the portion of chips, double the parmo, yeah. and onion rings and garlic mushrooms. And also, I would have been able to prepare... By not having crap beer first. <laughs> yeah, definitely take, would take, I definitely well, wouldn't have take something, if, if this guy was with us, there's absolutely no way he'd have been ordering an Amstel. He'd have absolutely been ordering a... There was no wanky beer. Yeah, there wasn't. So you'd have had to go for like water, diet coke, or yeah. something. Like that. I, 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 nearly, I nearly went for the Bud um, Zero. What? That's like 
Well, the, um, if my you only basis was two shit things together. <laughs> my only that's basis like was both if of I them. went for the blood zero, then I could have had double pint at the ground. But as it turns out, we were two a bit pop for that we were one. a bit two late, so pop. we be, we made the decision not to go for pre-game pint, didn't we? So we ended up just going out. straight to the away ticket office, buying the tickets, and getting in. I have another question. Yes, Stuart. Was that not a bit weird for you? Was it's it a bit the, the like the left hand feels it. like someone else is doing it? Kind it of is the deal. second time I've done it. <laughs> and it's the f- so in the two times I've been in the away end in the Riverside, I've not seen them lose yet. Right. Oh, maybe then. So you're gonna no. see if they do a season ticket. <laughs> <laughs> the away end. I was gonna be awesome if I just kept going. They're like. We've not lost you, a game. We've seen, you, we've seen you an awful lot this season at the away supporters section. Do you, you? You know this works, don't you? You normally would get a ticket in the in the home end. You yeah. Twat. yeah. Yeah, but at least they'd understand because the who in the right mind would want to be. Oh wait a minute. Yeah, sorry, Paul. <laughs> He's all right for you on that. I He's think. done it. He's fine. Um, it, it was funny. It was funny when the, the the announced the teams or the teams were released, and uh, I think all of us were like, uh, "What? Who? Gested up front? Who did Gested? I'd even said to you before we went in when we got lineups at the, the pub. Whatever. Can we you imagine like, if this is the? Can time you imagine if this is the one game where he scores? Full shadowing. Full shadowing. Full shadowing. They were living him on Sky. The I best thing about uh, to be fair, he played well. Having seen Middlesbrough, like a fair, like probably more than you I would to. normally do, <laughs> um, Fletcher and Sambolonga are just crap. Yeah, in the games that we've so played recently. And so is Nemetri, is that how it? Nemetri, yeah. Nemetri. Nemetri. Rubbish. Like, against, to be fair, against Leeds, I know what happened back, go now, you looked alright. Yeah. But I think we all agree. Time. I think we all agreed that that Leeds game, Middlesbrough looked. They looked good. all right, yeah. Um, but at least you actually had a threat this time. Yeah, they offered something that the other guys don't. In the I last, mean, in the last couple of games, just lumping it onto him, it's but. been a case of he's in that game on on Monday. He offered something that hadn't been seen in the previous couple of games, which was a presence up top, and that's been something that Middlesbrough have been lacking for quite a while. So, fair play to the guy, he put himself about a bit, it's just, I've never seen, like, you know, they always used to say that Mark Viduka had a good touch for a big man, Gested, the absolute opposite of that, worst touch I've ever seen for a big lad, or a tall striker, he's, he just can't sort his feet out, his head yeah. is awesome, but his, That's feet, what his footwork is just the same Sky about his last, something like his last eight goals and... Like the ball been headed. Yeah, it's because he, he he's got that he's got that sort of Les Ferdinand nature about him, and that he just like sort of seems to sort of like hang. Yeah. So like you know Les Ferdinand just just jump, and then was basically like about ten minutes later he land. <laughs> That's the same thing for Gested. Gested seems to just sort of like have that nature to sort of like stay up in the air. How so? How did it look on TV? Because I kept saying. We, being their life, they were just absolutely caning like our left back, just like putting it in behind Ribeiro every time. Like, and they just didn't seem to. I, I don't know if that came across on TV. That's def- definitely what it felt like. I I actually enjoyed that game. I was saying to you guys earlier on that like I've actually watched quite a bit of like football, and it yeah it was an enjoy enjoyable game. Um, it it kind of from the bit I saw certainly. I have to say, Middlesbrough were looking better. Yeah. Especially in, I mean, I, in that 10 minutes. I mean, obviously that was when they went in front as well, but that, that 10 minutes before half-time, like, I can't recall any kind of Forest like... No, he maintains the whole of the first half. Forest just got... No, I'd say 10 minutes before half-time. I won't say the whole of the first no, half. No, no, no. <laughs> Granted, they, uh, Forest started off the better and were on the front foot, and then it sort of petered out a little bit. Mm. Forest scored... And then it was all Borough for the rest of the first half. Um, and the Forest goal came out of absolutely nothing. <coughs> right, it was li- I think mm-hmm. it was literally a throw-in. Um, Paddy McNair fell over, or just wasn't strong enough in the cha- in the tackle. And Miobi laid it off to Yates, who basically was able to, who had enough time to do it, to basically turn like the fucking Queen, Mar- Queen Mary, 
and fucking knock it in the uh, he, he thinks even court. though he scored a goal that he was absolutely one of the worst Off. on the pitch terrible and didn't seem to do anything I, I believe as well James called it on last listening back to last week's podcast and he said oh, saving the big guns when Paddy McNair was mentioned for, for the Monday night game who rolls out in the team selection there he is yeah I thought Savile was a bit unlucky to, to get dropped for that game really because he's been playing well recently um but he's he obviously he obviously had a had an idea of how he wanted to play. He obviously wanted to play Clayton in the hole as the holding midfielder. I think he was I he subbed he, off in the Leeds game. Uh, Clayton Savile mm, no, Savile uh, just before the end of the first half or something. Yeah, quite possibly. I can't I can't remember. I've, I've sort of wiped it from my mind. If I'm being honest, <laughs> I, t- I tell you what, Clayton in that game for me just got carried. Mm. Did, he, he, uh, did he was one or two steps off the pace, pretty much. He, I just think, even though he's he's not that old, his his legs have gone to an extent. He's not he's not up to speed with the game, and that might be because he's not played as much. He's, mm. If he'd been playing every week, he'd probably be up to speed and stuff like that. But he's missed a lot of games. I think it's possibly time to move on from him now. But he could probably do it. He could probably do a job for a team. Well, it's a, a team down the bottom, but obviously more are down the bottom of the middle. Yeah. Don't be sending them our way, thank you. It, in a weird way, it's, it, it's a team like all that he'd probably end up at, to be fair. Old Barnsley, somewhere in, somewhere in New Yorkshire. He might, go, he might even go to Huddersfield, to be I'll, fair. I hope maintain Barnsley are a solid team this season because they've beaten us twice. Oh, <laughs> definitely, <coughs> definitely not angry about that. No, no, yeah. much. Um. So yeah, so the first half was a bit up and down until Forest scored, and then it was I mean, it was all bore after that. So we might as well go with the goal scorers before we get into this. Absolutely. I, so yeah, I, I feel like this is the point where I need to apologise to you, James, as well, because at two one up, I text. There's a couple of texts going backwards and forwards, and just at the point I text Paul saying, "How's James getting on? How's it like?" Because you you were losing at that point. Then uh, yeah, so a kiss a death it for Paul, but you know. Unbelievable. <laughs> we, we were coming in waves at the end, though, weren't we? They yeah. were really knocking on the door there. That and and as well, how have you not discussed that second goal in depth? Because Paul was loving that, wasn't he? Which the one? the wing goal. The the little the the backing in that definitely wasn't backing in. Oh, oh the, gra- right. the grab and equalise. He was he was mm. really really pissed off at the time because he was like when we watched it live without any replays, he was like. Because we where we were stood, we were pretty much like almost in line with it. Mm. So we had the sort of goal almost like obscuring a little bit of the viewpoint. Yeah. So you couldn't really see it full like full on as if you were watching it on the TV. Mm. So I think we'd maybe missed the fact that he hadn't. <laughs> it, it looked like he basically just. You felt at the time that the he wasn't even and playing and any just ball. Pressing yeah. against him as if he wasn't trying to play the ball. Mm. But in, when I viewed it back. He, he actually did quite well to be fair that was a typical goal for him though as well like just little touch and yeah. like two well, again, he really out. wasn't happy at again time. other than that couldn't say anything he did in the game and that must have been really like annoying for you because it's not like you could really vocalise that either at the time the, well the worst thing was that he was like um, I think if you watch that game back and there was a camera trained on the away end you're probably the only person who was not doing anything there I was like yeah it's happened to me before <laughs> It happened to me when I went to go see um, <laughs> uh, Man United versus Borough New Year's Eve 2006, 16, 17. Uh, Borough went one up. United equalised in the 89th minute or something like that and got a winner in the 94th. Mm-hmm. Literally everyone around me just absolutely going mental as me, just like face like a slapped ass. And I always maintain that if there was a camera on it, I'd just been that it just zoomed yeah. in on me, just like. You did say after the squad that if Borough had gone up the other end and got a winner or whatever. Oh, I, like, I, would, I, I wouldn't have been able to contain myself. Yeah. I'd have been fucking whooping, fucking everything. To be yeah. fair, throughout the second half, though, whenever Borough did anything good, you were giving it the claps and stuff, weren't you? So. But I was also like, uh, I always maintain you, you, you've, you got go, have, you've, you've got to have a bit of you've got to have a bit of an impartial view. Yeah. You can't just be like, say, every time there's a foul, you can't, or every time the like, the ref blows for something, it's always, it's not always that he's wrong, or that the ref's always right, or whatever. You've got to have like a bit of impartiality. I don't like it. going to the football and having to sit with people who are like 
Oh, it's a foul. Every it's a penalty ref. It's definitely a penalty. It's like, regardless. no, he's clearly got the ball, yeah. or it's clearly a dive and stuff like that. And I think one thing that probably annoys you more than me, although I don't really like it as well, is when you hear people that get really annoyed about backwards passers or <laughs> oh maintaining God. the ball. The, the amount Apparently we should all be playing just direct football. The, the amount, there, was, there was a couple of times where Forrest had a corner and obviously it didn't come off right, so they ended up sort of recycling the ball and it would go back to Samba. And the amount of time they started booing, it was like, mm. for fuck's sake, you've, re- you've maintained possession of the ball. And then obviously, like, because they started booing, Samba just tries to pump it forward. And then, and then, then they all start taking the bits that he's giving the ball away. Yeah, so it's, it's like, we well, can't, it. well, I mean, like, yeah, you can't. But how do you want it? There was it's so bad. in in my years when I had my season ticket at Hull, there was a guy who used to sit in the row behind us. Ooh, backwards. Ooh, sideways. That's football. <laughs> like, I think because when he played in like the the local divisions and then went on to referee at quite a low standard. Oof, oh. Oof, yeah, oh. it was just like oh, you got the ball, pump it forward, and that's all you do with it. I mean, like, so. What I'd say to those people is, like, right, go watch a game in Barcelona. Mm. Any time they pass, pass it back to the keeper, silence. There won't be any sort of booze. There won't be any, like, consternation. It's it's a case of retain the possession of the ball. I think you could... Restart the cycle. I think yeah. you can absolutely, you know, boo or not be happy with it. If, if you've got, like, full-backs or centre-backs fanning around with the ball in their own area and then they end up having to hoof it anyway or whatever. But if you if you won if you won down and there's five minutes left in the game, can understand it then. But if it's like ten minutes to half time or whatever. Exactly. Yeah. Right then. So We've still not mentioned the goal. We haven't mentioned the goals in full. So first goal, Forrest go ahead with Yates. Which at the time I think I turned to this man and was like did he fucking score the goal earlier in the season when it was one each? I think it was. It's the fucking Matthias Click situation all over again. Only ever scores against the fucking Borough. <sighs> so then they equalise. Rudy. Rudy, Rudy Gustead. Gustead. Edda. So at this point, we're all on two points, yeah? <clears throat> uh, at this point, I am on two points. And then... They go and take the lead. It was, uh, as Lewis pointed out, it was a bit of a um, Pearsy Coulson combo there. Wasn't yeah, it? Uh, Pears he, did really well. He uh, he came out and claimed the ball really well. He was dominant in his area. Didn't hang about. Literally bowled it straight out to Aidan Coulson, and Coulson just, just went just, hot knife through just, butter. Just, just ran. It was direct, and uh, it was. It was a well earned man of the match performance from Coulson. He and you, and, and the you feel Cash was at fault there as well, just like yeah, like, Cash. Um, wing on Cash his was supposed to be playing right, right back, obviously, and he's he's made the mistake of getting drawn in with the ball. He's not played the situation. So obviously on the, on the overlap, Burrad, uh, I think it was Wing and possibly Tav was with him as well, uh, free on the left hand side, well edge of the box. So the ball obviously gets played into Wing, and he just puts it in the opposite side. Basically, everything you're taught to do as, as a strike, basically put it back the way it's come, because normally the keeper's obviously travelling with the with the direction of the ball, mm. and will find it harder to go back yep. the opposite way. I think um, there's a couple of there's a couple of Forest fans who were having a go at the keeper. I think that's harsh because if you think about it, he's having to tra- he's having to do exactly that. He's having to change his trajectory and he managed he did manage to get a palm on it and he was just yeah. he just wasn't able to get back I think, up quickly. I think it, I, I think I would have liked him to have done better. I'm not gonna get on his back or whatever, but after you've got a hand on it, I think he could have stopped it there. There is that but argument. But then you there then you the argument argument that after it started spinning around, if you'd have been in a split second yeah, if, if, if he'd have been able to kick it or if it yeah. across the line anyway. It is that thing uh, like there is that argument if if you can get a hand to it, you can save it. But, but, but but you did do us, because we're, we're, we're basically the counter-attack I was going to say, you just before the us. game, you had said that Forrest's way of playing is on the counter-attack, and we basically forested you. Yeah. Mm. So, fucking good, isn't it? That is almost word for word what they said on commentary on Sky. Oh, really? Yeah. As in Burr have done There's... to Forrest what they do to teams. Yeah. Oh, do you I'll remember about the... Goodman, Goodman, what's Scott? Oh, God. <laughs> 
that was another one. So obviously the forest where the where the forest fans stand or like is it, well just below where the, the away box. fans stand in the stadium is underneath where the gantry is for the sky coverage. So you can see you into see it and, and you can just see the back there. of the people that are doing the coverage. So the forest fans can obviously see it's Don Goodman. Now we don't know if Don Goodman well he played for Wolves and I don't think Forest have got a big rivalry with Wolves as far as I'm aware so it could be the Ian Holloway situation whereas Borough fans don't like him because he slagged us off when he was basically doing com- like, um, like punditry mm-hmm. so I don't know if Don Goodman's basically said ah Forrest are a bit shit probably don't deserve to be where they are this season etc etc so it might be a case of Fuck off, God. They were just giving him, off, they were just giving, you, giving him some. Is he like the new, the new Mark Lawrence? Because he just hated everybody that wasn't oh, Liverpool. Christ. Right, so. No, Dan, Danny Murphy's the new Mark Lawrence. <laughs> I still maintain that Garth Crooks is just shit. Mark Bright is just shit. Martin Keown, just shit. Robbie Savage, shit. Oh, I like I mean, Robbie. I could go on. I like Chris Robbie. Sutton, dour, shit. Chris He's, Sutton just does it for effect, though, doesn't he? But he's a prick. He's like, I'm, yeah, I'm there to be the contributor. All opinions one. are my own. Yeah. Alleg- that, the, the, Allegedly. Opinions, the opinions of the uh, talent are not that held of cookie cast ink and blah, blah, blah. No, no, they're pretty much. <laughs> I fully agree. Uh, and then the equaliser uh, to finish off the scoring by, uh, to as, get as, as, as aforementioned, to, to get, get closer one. to his 60 to his for 60. the season. Mr. Lewis Guruban. But like you say, you say, oh, oh, he doesn't really do anything. I can't remember him doing anything else. That's what he's there to do, just to pop up and get the goal when needed. That's he's, his game, he, isn't it? That, he that's what play, he's, that is, he does that's play what isolated he's in the team. That's, that's, that's what he's in the team for. He's in the team to score goals. And if he has, basically, if he's played 89 minutes, barely touched it, and still scores, he's yeah. had a good game. He's... He, well, which the, the way we play is always going to be isolated up front. Wasn't there a game recently where he'd had like less than, or seven touches or something? Probably. Was it the Leeds game or something? By half time he'd had like five or six touches like easily like lowest on the pitch or something yeah. like that. The, the, there's all... Like, but Sky he plays love, as a... Sky and Love bring he, out stats He plays like as a lone striker if, for if a, a team, team that doesn't yeah. have much possession. If a team plays with a lone striker... And there's not been much happening for that team in the game. If they, if Sky are doing the coverage, their favourite stat to bring out is the fact of, uh, yeah, Asamba Long was up top on his own in the first half. He's had seven touches, none of which were in yeah. the opposition box. But you, you look at the look at the size of him. He's not. I'm not saying he's small, but he's not. He's not a he's battering. Not a he's not a battering run. So, so he's you not, can't he's, lump he's not gonna, to him. You're not going to be playing it into his into his head. You're going to have to play it into feet with his back to the goal. But he's not really a hold up man or whatever. Or, you try and get him in behind. He comes deep or he goes out to the sides or whatever. He was playing, yeah. he was he was getting drawn out wide quite a lot. And I even said yeah. that to you at one point. I was like, surely if you're a Forest fan here, there's no point in, in grabbing going out to the out to the wing to pick up the balls. Or if he is going to do that, Amiobi's got to be absolutely busted yeah. with gut to get in the box. Amiobi for didn't him really seem to have the engine, but uh, like I said to you before the game kicked off, I think he'll yeah. be off after 70 minutes. <laughs> He's absolutely. So 68 minutes comes along, board goes up. Amiobi's number, it's like, can you pretty predict the uh, lottery uh, numbers? Yeah, but I mean, it's I mean, not really a prediction, it happens every week. And really I think Matt, Matt was absolutely thrilled at his replacement that came on. Diacarby. Diacarby. Because uh, I don't know if he mentioned it, but he uh, thinks he's pretty shit. He is rubbish. He's just a sprinter at the end of the day, isn't he? he just, he's one of those players who basically has been told he's quick and obviously he can do something. The only the thing he did was where he, he slightly overran it, managed to get there, flick it past Shotton, was it? And then just got <laughs> absolutely <laughs> taken out. But at least yeah. he won as a free kick. He, he tried to run it past Shotton and Shotton ways he just went, uh, I don't think I can get this, I'm just going to stand it. <laughs> just be- but yeah, he's, he's not very good at uh, retaining possession his day can be no. loses it quite a lot. So that bad bad sub and I thought we've not really got anything to change it Carvalho actually you know did uh, make it and uh, Bostock Bostock, Bostock I was I was happy with Bostock a few times. he he was available 
That is but, not the same player that we had when he was like, but it, go, it yeah, was going back a little bit. Ten years nearly, maybe? Well, I, it was on. In, in fact, was it ten years it, ago? It was on the basis of, oh, well, like, he's, he's a young prospect from Tottenham or whatever he was at the time, and I think they were like thinking he was like the next Tom Huddleston. Oh, ten year old Tom? But um, he was. I, I, thought, I thought he looked good for the, what, ten, fifteen eight, eight, minutes? Eight, ten minutes he had. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was good. He was available. He, you know, he got he got he he got a few tackles in. Yeah, put himself about a bit. But you'd imagine that he's like I think I said this in the car on the way back. He's almost like the Forest version of Ravel Morrison, young kid. Lot about him, you know, was touted to go on to like bigger and better things. But just hasn't. Is worked. he a young kid now? Not anymore. But no, but I think what he means is when he was young, came through, he, he got lauded to be. The next sort of player. I know Bostock was never like touted as the yeah, next yeah. big thing, but he was well, 16 when Spurs yeah, signed him. From, I think from right. from what I saw of him on the TV, I think he did put himself about a bit. Definitely still didn't have a hair out of place by the end of it, though. Yeah. He's a player who puts <laughs> himself apart. But well, you you come and he got a new haircut. I was like, oh dear, what is that? Moose out. We, oh we we looked. We looked better right after the substitutions, and I've never thought that really we'd bad me. Hair wise, you look better. <laughs> <laughs> better hair I don't know. Because oh, the no, crab was still on the beach with his, with his fucking wispy beard. And I Ami mean, Obi's got an haircut as well. Oh, Christ. Well, th- there was, there was. let's put it this way there was plenty of decent haircuts, I'm sure. Obviously, Ryan shot him with his absolutely huge dreads and stuff. I think the only thing we've got to talk about now cool. is. Lewis Wien's behaviour after he scored a goal. James wasn't happy. Did Lewis Wien scores and uh, really just, really uh, really just uh, peels off to celebrate. Directly in, in front, front of the Forest fans. fans. <laughs> 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 did did he not get a uh, five yard penalty? I don't pe- think so. I think he's just generally <laughs> a bit. Did he not get a five yard penalty for uh, <laughs> unsportsmanlike conduct? He's, 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 well, yeah, he's a. Uh, He's come from the Northern League, hasn't he? So he, he, apparently he always had a bit about him as a bit of a showboater and stuff like that because he just used to ping him from like 30 yards all the time. So I think he's just a bit of a cocky bastard because obviously he's like he's come from nothing. So he's probably got a little bit of that about him. Oh, wait, right, a bit of a, yeah, Well. It's a bit insightful. I was there just thinking, really want to really scream. This is the first time I've seen him score on the Riverside about eight years. Uh. Is it not one of them things though as well where like if he plays on your team, that's cool because he's getting the crowd on side, but if you're playing against him, dick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, but he's not he's, he's, not, like your stero- he- he's not your stereotypical one of them was like that's like a dirty player, like Savage yeah. was. Or like Patrick Calvin, Bamford. Or like Calvin Phillips is. Patrick Bamford. He's do you like your do you, ta- like, he's- do you not like Patrick? He's like your talisman, really, isn't he? Like he's, Wait, you know, yeah. he's, he, I wouldn't say he's the talisman. This season, you, I don't know. He's in the go. He's in the team because he because he likes to ping it. Uh, and, and, but it was, but and, it, was another, it was another game which was incredibly obvious that every time he got the ball in his feet, he, he was looking to get out of his feet. Yeah. So. But why wouldn't yeah? If you well, you know, would yeah. I mean, we had a few long-range efforts, mm. or chances long-range efforts, and like the but, voice, like you could see people wind up for shots, but then like they just bottled it and went, best, "I'm not capable." Best of this. thing about it, is the longer the, the longer the game on, obviously, the more that Forrest had to chase it, the deeper Lolly would drop. Yeah, he was, in the even case even, of, even if when the ball corner, comes out to me, yeah. I'm just going to twat. So he was it. taking all the to start with. He was taking all the set plays, wasn't he? But then when Carvalho came, yeah, on, he all took all the set taken, piece to you. Although he was just hanging around like twenty yard, twenty yards, something like that, just mm. for any any scraps. There was one corner where they pinged it directly to him. He was scout it on the like volley, but it, it was kind of like too much on his side, so yeah, it was a hard. He was, he was already sort yeah. of like arching like that to sort of like get the swing on it, and it won't but like. Him. A couple under for Watson to it from long and you could see him like <laughs> draw his leg back and at the last second go, nah I'm gonna pass it off. I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna like I'm just gonna lightly just loft this in with yeah. the old pitching wedge. Dear Carby had a good effort actually. Hmm? Long range one. But. Maybe that Lolly had been uh, listening last week when Mr Cook was trying to put the uh, scoring from outside the box bell. 
Yeah. I uh, yeah, as I said earlier, I definitely lost my shirt on that. Day. <laughs> he was um, he was doing at times he was doing similar to Wing though, one where you could see that he was yeah. he was looking to come inside. His first, he his had, first he had no intention yeah. of passing it. The only bet I didn't take was the uh, one that involved Fletcher because he definitely wasn't going to play. He didn't play. He didn't play. There you go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the way you worded that sound as we were pissed off of me. <laughs> well, he said, he said that almost only... as if that was the bet that would have won and how many didn't. <laughs> the, the funny thing was, it was I'm only on the way enough. home <laughs> that you realised that Sob Galonga wasn't what, even in the, the squad. squad. <laughs> he was like, what, you mean you didn't score one of these three goals? Oh no. no. So go on then, Andrew, fill us in on who scored what. At this point in time, if this was live, I'd be asking people to like, you know, that that bar across the bottom when you get like people messaging and stuff, and I'd be like, does anybody want to guess how many points Paul scored this week? I believe it's a big fat zero. Well, the you went for a bullshit prediction. I must have gone for a grammar show. You you just struggled. You went three 0 Borough. Oh yes, In fairness, I did get him to say before the start of the game. Like, I know you've come up with a bullshit on the podcast, but what do you say? And he did say 2-0 to Forrest. But I was like, uh, <laughs> Paul, why, why do you hate money? And, and correct scores. Uh, James. I did say 2-0, didn't I? You did. Yeah. Um, but. I've got a grab him scorer. Luckily That's... for you, you'll never let him down. Grab him. How have I gone 3-0 Borough and not put a casual wingy banger in there? You were absolutely convinced. Did I put Coulson down? I told you I had. Mm. And he was he was running the show. He, in fact, he had an effort in the first half that at first we just thought went wide, but Saved. it was a great Samba save. That's one thing we didn't mention. You you kind of I don't know if it's it's maybe an over exaggeration. You kind of fell in love a bit with Samba oh, in that game. That keeper. <laughs> it's like such, his new favourite player. Oh, such swag. Oh he loves it. <laughs> He just, he just sort of like, he was just basically sort of like, you know, just sauntering around the box. And every, every time he had like a, a set piece, he just put it down, just loft it. Casual. Have you got, a, have you got a cushion for Paul? <laughs> <laughs> just, you I have got like a new forest favourite player now, have just, oh, just, 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 just open the window and just pour all that oh, water out of that glass. <laughs> uh, so just, I'm, obviously because I'm, cause I'm a keeper right? so I always, I've always got a bit of a soft spot for the keepers it's what, it's what Amy thinks season starts again tomorrow he's good because he can actually keep yeah but like as I say he's in no way taxi, and he's kind of serious in nah, he, he's, at just, all. he's just laid back isn't he? He, he, he strikes me as a very much a fan favourite yeah and he came over at the end of the game and gave gave it the applause, and stuff, which is, you know, yeah. I mean, you have to do that as, a, as an away player, I suppose. That's Respect. Um, obviously, I got points. Possibly. That's what I do. Did you go for a draw? He did. I did. Mm. You went for one, one piece. piece so. You were both in the room, so you both got a goal. One each. One there for uh, one there for two. I bet you went grabs, didn't you? Oh, did you go lolly? Or did you go grabs? He's got to get 60 goals this season, James, come on. <laughs> so he's won the week. So, didn't win any money though, did we? No. <laughs> That's a thing. Did you win last week as well? Or was I that think he won the last three weeks, I think. That's what I This guy won last season overall, didn't he? I Probably. Know. I don't know if you won last week. You definitely won the week oh, before. I, I absolutely won last week. Uh, yeah, the week before I also won. Yeah. With one point. But last yeah. week I destroyed... Um, Just think though, this week we'll have more games to pick. More games, more, more chances, chances for me. If I'm honest, in true away. in true worst fun in the world, I've got no idea who we're playing next. No, it's no, alright, I'll be able to Friday. Friday. I'll, yeah. I'll tell you again. What? Or no one games, if you want, we'll, oh, right. if you want, what we'll do is we'll go to the pub. I'll bring my tablet so you can watch it, and you can just ignore the goals when they go in if you want. It's weird because socialising too. It's because the the Millwall Forest game was also on a Friday. Millwall. Was that not when you went to? F- were you in Nottingham? We're in Nottingham, but Forest they were not the game. Yeah. <laughs> they were. So you were in Nottingham. We but were. Nottingham Forest weren't yeah. in Nottingham. That must be a stat though to like both both fixtures in the same season on a Friday. On night. a Friday night, you, you could be right, Jim. You could be right. So it's a zero in the corner. It's one for you, and it's two for me, Stu. 
no. sadly wasn't here. Wasn't here, but still drew with you. <laughs> Is that that'll be that'll be now three Forest games. The last three Forest games will all be two Sky games. games. Oh, I see. Cardiff was on. Yeah, it was indeed. And then that one, and then Friday again. Well. Oh. Seems as as we've discussed, the first game of next first week game is of next week is Forest versus Mill Hall. Nottingham versus Mill uh, Hall. Mill, Mill Hall. That's the well. One. It looks like I'm last, then, doesn't it? It does. So is it's I. Either. Do you want to have a, the first one of this as the guest? Uh, I'm going one nil home win. I see. And your goal scorer? Well, who else is it going to be? Oh, Grabero. I'll go for Grabin. Ribeiro. What about Ribeiro? Well, he's going to score, isn't he? Because, you know. Because you know what? I don't know. I'd go for Silver, but I can't find what his name actually is in real life on no, Sky. Thiago Silva on Sky Up. Is it Ivanino? Something like that. Ivano. 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 Yeah. Just put Ivano. Thiago Silva is. No, I'm, 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 st- I'm sticking by your boy. I'm going for grabbing still. Good. Forest two, Ooh. Millwall one. That's the correct answer. Uh, Amiobi. You will love Amiobi. Best and make sure, best make sure we score before the seventy minute mark. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, uh, stick his hand for, stick his hand for a, a lolly, a lolly pop. A casual um, lolly banger. A casual lolly popper. Yeah. Um, Millwall. Uh, you might have to give your prediction for that, and I will. Oh, Jed Wallace. I was, I was feeling, I was feeling a two-one. Am I still feeling a two-one? Ooh, he's still changed his mind. No, I agree with you there. I just don't like your goal scorers. Mm. They're, they're all over the shop. Mm. A graban. 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 Gosh, still quiet. Yeah? Yeah, he's still marauding from right back. He's absolutely he, lost. He, he he had a go to try and replicate the West Brom goal, didn't he? But it, it didn't go well for him. And I'm just going to take Paul's uh, Millwall goal scorer, so we don't have to dwell on that. I, I'd like to think Five. it's going to be 2 0 to Forest. But. No, that's what I'm going to go for. <laughs> Things have changed. He used to pick three every week. Yeah. It was yeah. almost he, exclusively. He, he's realising that the uh, betting account's getting low. Getting down um, to the business yeah. end. Yeah, we'd have the £12 in the betting account. So, so obviously, Grabber. Obviously. 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 Well, he delivers, doesn't he? I'm going to wait to do all the bets. I'm just going to put them on at the end and I'll just update the uh, the, the, the listeners. Update. With, with the, with and the I think Carvalho will score. Do you know I what? I was going to have a little go on him mm. and then pick him in this as well. <laughs> you beat me to Sexual it. talk. Uh, why don't you roll it over to talk about Charlton versus Middlesbrough? Go. Oh, God. Unless you want to let Stu lead off. Um, no, I'll, I'll go. Ooh, it's, oh, God, I've just seen... Borough have kind seen, of... I've just seen your game. Ooh. Borough have kind of impressed me a bit more in the last couple of games. They've showed a bit more. Showed a bit of but, but Charlton did beat Forest. Means nothing. What did Charlton do at the weekend? you got to remember, James, Forest do really well. Charlton lost, didn't better they? better teams. Huddersfield. Uh, Yes, they got they got soundly beaten. I believe I think it was three, three or four. Three the might end, have been yeah. four. The Charlton game yeah. four by Huddersfield. Yeah. yeah. Um, where's it at? Sorry, it'll be at Riverside, I guess. No, it's at Um I don't know if that really makes much difference. Uh, Mind it? I'll go for one apiece. I'm I'm all about that. You such a dick. I go for Taylor. Wow. For Charlton. Yeah. I 
<laughs> Do you know what? I'm half tempted to take a step again. I reckon he'll start. Surely I reckon he'll start. start. Yeah? No? Go on. Yeah, go stead. Stu? I am hanging all of my hopes on that game on a big, fat nil all. <laughs> really? Yeah. So you don't have to pick it up. Are you no. open this because it then put, it then gives you the chance to extend a little bit further away? It's well that it's not because it's, I don't want to pick a goal scorer. It's just that I genuinely don't think they'll find one between them. <laughs> they're. Um, I've just been having a quick flick through the form for Charlton, and they're not exactly setting the form book alight. So no, it would be crap apart from the win against Forest. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't want to bring that up, but now you've mentioned it. Um, but yeah, I just, yeah. You got anybody else? Uh, oh, has anybody got anyone else who plays Charlton? I'm looking at you, Paul Cullen. But he's so, a bit too far back, doesn't he? I, I'll take it. I'm, I'm not. Well, I, I can't Hon- honestly, I honestly, think. if if Charlton are going to score, it will be Taylor. Pretty much. I think I'll find out. Be Cullen. Uh, one of these from this guy, uh, Paul Williams. Your team is going to do what? Charlton Athletic nil. Mm-hmm. Middlesbrough one. And your goal scorer. Classic. Coulson. They're playing him further forward now. They're playing him as, for, they're playing him as part of the midfield f- four, as opposed to playing him as a wing back or a left back. So they're giving him a chance to get forward more, and he looked he looked dangerous against got Forest. Shots on him as well, and I reckon yeah. against the against, against weaker opposition, oh, he, hey, could, Paul, uh, hey. he could put them to the sword. Uh, do you want to roll into Stoke versus Hull? Absolutely, Andrew. Go. Stoke one, Hull nil. That's, Seriously, that's, you that's are a, in the room. That is a bold and confident prediction on behalf of uh, Hull. <laughs> no goal. So, ten games left until the end of the season. Given how you t- you've been playing at the minute, I'd maybe give you another three goals all season. I'd probably snap your hand off for that <laughs> right now. Unfortunately, I think all three will probably come against the border or something like that. And it'll be like, oh, for fuck's sake. And there's me being all optimistic, thinking that you meant that we were going to score three own goals, but yeah, uh, more likely. Stoke. I just, yeah, it's... Goal scorer. Go. Uh, oh, I, don't, I don't like saying it. Ugh. Oh, Clucas. Old boy. I was going to say James McLean, but then I have to go and like set myself on fire John McLean James apparently Andrew you have to guess what James is confused <laughs> this week uh, 9-0 no. <laughs> to, to hold he's not predicting Forest. come on <laughs> now you need to name 9 Hull goals <laughs> Uh, three I don't, know, for Tommy. I don't yes. know what Stoke have done. Uh, shit all. They're, they're pretty much down there with us in like, the form table. So that. They're a point above Borough as it stands currently. Uh, yeah, but they were in a shit place though, weren't they? So two points behind Hull. And where's it at, sorry? It's at the, it's at the, it's at the, it's at the, the bet 3 6 five. I don't know why I asked that every time because it, it makes, no, no makes absolutely no difference. You're, n- you're not this man. Just purely because it's easy. She was like, room? who are you going to predict? He's in the room. You're going to go nil nil. I'm going to go nil nil. Oh. <laughs> I can read, you can read him like a book. Fair enough. Every time he gets a game where he has to, like, where he, he panics and he's on the spot, he's like, yeah, a bit nil nil. This, this is, but this is exactly what happens when your team are quite reasonably comfortable above the shit. You sell your best two players, think, oh, cash in there. And then on the same weekend they get absolutely bummed by Leeds. Yeah. The 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 star yeah. player goes and sticks one in for his new new team at West Ham. Bones, I was saying to you though, it's a shame that until that he's not really been getting a go. Nah, it was. Well, only had like three. It was only ever going to be a. It was funny so. that he was he was like bitching before that game, going, "Oh fucking hell, they've got uh, about West Ham." 
he was like, fucking hell, they've got like Haller and uh, Bowen, they spent a load of money, they don't get on the bench and they're playing fucking Antonio up front or whatever, and then they all, all three of them went to Who's left that might score a goal for Hull? Oh, now you're asking. Um, What's the keeper's name? Is Tommy What's the keeper's name? Yeah, uh, yeah. Right, he's all done. He actually, he has, he has scored what, uh, yeah, one or two in the last three games. Yeah, but what happens is he, sc- he scores one goal, they interview him, he's a cocky, cocky scouser, and then like you, th- you think, right, yeah, talks a great game, then fucks off for three weeks and doesn't do anything else. Where did they get him from? I don't know. Slash, really wish they hadn't. Um, yeah. I want to say Cambridge, but I might uh, have It'll be so, it'll, I'll tell you what, I would... All, I know it's not, but if it's not, probably Doncaster, because, uh, you know, McCann's uh, stealing from him. Scunny? Yeah. As soon as you're in the room, Stu, I've given you a goal. Oh, Thanks. you can. So. Unfortunately, he has given Stoke six. <laughs> I, stick, I stick to my guns. Go. Um, I am not even that confident. I'm going to say 2-0 to Stoke. I'm, I'd already picked on Paul's theory of old boys, but I'm going to... Take your Clucas. Shove it up your ass. And I'm gonna I'm gonna ass. raise you an ins second. Because he was dog shit for us mm. and then he went to Derby and did alright for a bit. I've I've always thought I know we're getting away from result. I've always thought Ince has just been a letdown. Yeah. Promised very much, delivered yeah. very little. Yeah. Big boots to fill in all. Do you that. need info for bets? Uh, if you just pass us the thing over and I'll fill it in. And stuff like that. You two, are, you with you two, you three might have to chat amongst yourselves for a little bit of a uh, little bit of, little bit well, of filler. Presumably that's the week. Done or this. do I just basically the bets will what probably is not the, is win. The, is there anything midweek? Uh, I've not looked. Have we There's no midweek, midweek games. Um, the next games what are the following. The following week it'll be Champions League again, I'd imagine. Champions League. Um, although I did see that the week after your game is against Charlton. Oh, there's League One and League so, Two. Uh, earlier on in the season, when I was on this podcast with you guys, we had this conversation about Hull and the way that the fixtures have worked out that we tend to get Borough sloppy, Borough sloppy seconds, seconds all the way through, and yeah, it's still that, happening now. Pass that one now. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, I'll. We'll just. Sorry, sorry, kids. We'll, we'll have to. We'll have to let you know if our bets came in, and I'll just sort the bets out later on. Okay. We'll leave the uh, we'll leave the public hanging, so to speak. There's your cliffhanger for next episode. Yeah, exactly. Tune in and so, see if we won. Or not well, as the case may be. How much we won, not if we won. Confident like it. Hang on. Did I see there that someone's picked Borough to score and a Somber Longer to be the goal scorer in the game against Charlton? Is that you? Did I miss that? I d I didn't reveal it. Oh, Sly Devil. Slammy devil. Um, as we are all aware, we had to let go of the whopper that allegedly was 42 questions and then turned out to be 45 questions. Mm. Uh, but we did finish it up uh, mm. last week. I, in my infinite wisdom, got straight on the Let's Find Another Quiz game. It, it's one of those that I've picked this one up. I don't know if this falls into the realms of way too easy. It's still in the same search category. The title of the quiz is Can you answer these 15 questions every football fan should know? No. That sounds to me like. Yes. It, it's going to be easy. I've seen, I've, I've looked through the questions. They seem to be questions, and they seem to be <laughs> questions. Well, they I'm, I'm like, they, they look like questions, uh, and they are multiple choice. I think the multiple choice makes it quite a bit easier normally. But so it's one to fifteen, gentlemen. Uh, did we do on camera on on record the new score instruction? That that that. Ron answers equals a minus, a, a, a minus point for Paul. I'm happy to go with it if you want. 
If it makes things a little bit more complicated. It depends what Andy wants. I, 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 I'm I with Stu that I feel like you've got a proper achievement if you're with yeah. Jim. Like. You're a man of integrity, Jim. Yeah. The... He's absolutely not. Huh? Well, you know, let's... I don't mind losing <coughs> every week. Let's keep it in the periphery. Why, why are you an old Borough fan, then? <laughs> Christ <laughs> almighty. Oh, because you can't see the T's for the T's. <laughs> 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 Let's start with question number one and see how we get on. Uh, I will also be playing along because otherwise I will win out the answers. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Question one. Who is the only player to score in an FA Cup, League Cup, Champions League and UEFA Cup Final? Your options. Cristiano Ronaldo, Thierry Henry, Frank Lampard, Steven Gerrard. You'd already written the answer down there. I had. Pretty. Does pretty. that mean you copied my answer? Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, we're off to a good start. Question number two. Again, I looked at this one, I was like, I'm pretty sure you know the answer to this. Uh, but hey, you know. Number two, who won the first ever World Cup in 1930? Your options that I'm sure you don't need are Brazil, Argentina, Uruguay, Paraguay. <coughs> so I crossed that one answer. Put another one there. I was like, no, I'm definitely going to Paraguay? I did very similar, James. I doubted myself. Picked a different team, should have gone with my first yeah. instinct. Never, Mother. never change, never change, boys. Number three. After 1966, the World Cup trophy was stolen whilst on display in England. It was found by a dog. Name that dog. But what was his name? Yes, that's what I actually know. Onion. Gherkin. <laughs> cucumber. Or pickles. Definitely going to call my dog Cucumber now. There's a good display at the uh, National Football Museum. I'm not all about that. <coughs> Geek. Number four. Name the only footballer to have played for Everton, Liverpool, Manchester City and Manchester United. <sighs> four options are Andrei Kamchelskis, Peter Beardsley, Dennis Law, Paul Ince. Paul Ince? Ryan Ribs? Did he a hot dog play? What? Food footballers? Paul Ince. Paul Ince. Uh, Ryan Ribs. Well, he always used to be Paolo One Chop. <laughs> Very good. Very good. <laughs> Question number five. Who scored the first goal in the history of the Premier League? Don't need them answers. I've, uh, do you know what? I've not needed the answers for any of them yet. Mark on. Robbins, Brian Dean, Matthew Letizier, Paul McGrath. I thought going to go with Paul Mintz again there. As a, as a, as a, an aside there, if you ever just want a treat, you just go and watch like, YouTube videos of Matt Letizier. Oh, didn't score tappings, did he? Amazing. Oh, sorry, I was screaming. Six... On the 16th of May 2015, Sadio Mane broke the record for the fastest hat-trick in Premier League history, scoring three times in 2 minutes 56 seconds. Who held the previous record? <sighs> I definitely do, 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 you want the, do you want the answers there, James, or have you already got that one? No, I don't, but I definitely thought you were writing down. Who did he play for? Who was it against? No, I've brought the answer. Did you know uh, which question was, was going there? Yeah. Fernando Torres, Robbie Fowler, Michael Owen, or the shark himself, Luis Suarez? You've been noticed there, kids. All those people. Nah. 7 of 15. Who was Britain's first £1 million player? <laughs> I've spelled his name I've just given him a completely different first name 
Kevin Keegan, Trevor Francis, Kenny Dalglish, Graham Sunas. What did you give him as a first name? I can't say. Why? I'll say at the end. Why can't you say? Because that will give away the answer. Because I wrote it out before the answers came out. Yeah, but you can still say what you thought was his first name. No, because it'll give it away. Oh, okay. If it sounds like. Yeah. You silly ass. Right, okay. You fucking. You fucking. Eight. Who is the only player to have represented three different countries at the World Cup? Oh, crap. Dimitri Karin? Dimitri Karin. Dijan Stankovic? Dijan Stankovic. Mirko... Vianic? No. Vucinic? Vucinic. Ole... Oh, Jesus. Wasn't he? Yeah, Oleg Luzhny. Right, it's not the one I put down then before. Did you put down Alfredo Di Stefano? I absolutely did. Did you? Yeah. I've done it again. Um, I'm definitely putting A, B, C, or D. (laughs) I know that it was an effort the first time. Can you tell me? Are you fucking kidding me? The only thing is, I'd already written one down because I was convinced it was someone else. (laughs) So I wasn't really listening. I got Luzhny. That was the last one. Yeah. Dimitri. Karin. Karin. Dijan Stan- Stankovic. Dijan Stankovic. Do you know this? I think so. So that's a yes. Mirko Vu- Vucinic. Yeah. Right, okay. So I've never heard of this Vucinic guy. I think he... I'd go maybe not him then. Yeah. It's, there. it's absolutely not him. It is. Right. It's definitely not him. I've, I've, I've picked a letter. Yeah, oh, that's, what, that's what I did too. Didn't get it right, Andrew. I didn't get it right, Paul, but I've also read the uh, four options for the next one. Oh, God. Oh. Number nine. This is, well, this is half of the entertainment. <laughs> this is, this is, some, this of is the the, this some of the best you stuff, on the, on, stuff. On, the, on the podcast. Well, let, let's read the first bit of this question. Which of these four Czech oh, God. internationals didn't win the Champions League? Oh, right. Peter. Uh, um, no. <laughs> no, Stu. Marek Jankulovsky. Marek Jankulovsky. Vladimir. Smitzer. S M I C E R. It's got a thing above the S. It's Smitzer, though, isn't it? S M I C E R. Pavel Nedved. He was a great player. Milan Barros. Which didn't win the Champions League. <sighs> yeah. Oh, he's only got a great right, James. What was option two? I'm not telling you, I can't be asked. <laughs> <laughs> Vladimir. You said it like that. Oh, was it was Hines? Yeah, sweet sir. Sweet sir. Sweet sir. <laughs> it's not him. Right. Number seven. I mean, I'm going to have to tap out. My <laughs> There's only ten questions in this group. <laughs> <laughs> Are we just doing some sort of Eastern European like love in here? Okay. Number ten. Which of these Dutch players have not a lot of years. scored a Premier League hat-trick? A lot of years. Right. A lot of years incoming. Oh, gee, <laughs> a lot Mark, of vans. A lot of Mark, vans incoming. Mark Overmars. Dirk Kut 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 <laughs> Jimmy Floyd Hassel JFH yeah JFH Striker Pierre Van Hoydonk Hoydonk Cock Ah really Number 11 Oh you know when you just think, yes. Which of these Englishmen has not missed a penalty at major international tournament? Well, that doesn't rule many people out, does it? <sighs> I mean, I don't know. Darius Vassell. 
Frank Lampard, Paul Gascoigne, Jamie Carragher. Which one hasn't missed the penalty? Has not missed a penalty at a major international tournament. Can you give us one again? Vassell? Darius Vassell, Frank Lampard, <coughs> Paul Gascoigne, Jamie Carragher. Ah, should have, should have, should have gone there. Number 12. Who's the only player to score a hat-trick in the Premier League, FA Cup and Champions League? Oh, no. Yossi... Yossi Benayoun. That's the one. Juan Sebastian Veron. Didier Drogba, Michael Borlak. Borlak. <laughs> Is that Borlak? Borlak. Borlak. Which option do you need, James? Oh, <laughs> Was it Benayoun first? He does it on <coughs> Benayoun, Borlak, Veron, Drogba. Drogba. Not in, Not in that order, though. No, but I'm just going to put a name so it'll be okay. I'm so sorry you have to listen to this. It's completely unprofessional. God. I've lost it, James. We're not getting a lot of points here. <laughs> Together we make one team. And I had it for a minute. And now it's all gone away. It's, called, it's all gone to cock. It's all gone away. But number 13, lucky for some. Not me. <laughs> Which of these Davids did not win the Premier League? Ooh. I bet some of them are going to be not David's but David's. David's yeah I'm going to go with maybe the first one David De... I mean I want to say here no oh is it G-E-A yeah that's David De Gea because <laughs> of reasons David De Gea <laughs> well I was going to go with something David De Gea sorry why have they not won the, not one, the league it? <laughs> Premier League. The Premier League, right, okay. David De Gea? David May. Right. David May what? Seaman. May what? Right. David Batty. Oh. I think they all have, haven't they? Give them again. Which of these did Davids win the did not win the Premier League? David... De Gea, De Gea De Gea. apparently. I mean, David May, David Seaman, David Batty. I, I reckon that's wrong. They all have, aren't they? I'm only going to put. I'm just going to put him because it may be that he didn't get enough. He didn't get enough appearances to get a medal. Maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. I'm. I'm. Ah. Oh! We're back. So, all right, we're back. Don't you worry, James. I've got you back. 13 bothers me a bit. Well, well, there's an answer. There's an answer, James. We can ask Dr. Google after. Oh, no, it can't be that one. Because I reckon he's on it with two teams. 14. Which of these players has not won back to back Champions League titles? Right. You with me? Yeah. Mm, Who didn't play? This should be fairly easy to work out. Deco. Right. Oh, actually. Uh, yeah. Paolo Sosa. Marcel De Sally. De Sally. Samuel Etu. Yeah, let's go with that. I on That's Etu. tougher than I thought. Yeah, I was thinking it would be Which the first of these players has not won back to back Champions League titles? Oh, James. Deco. Paolo Sosa. Marcel de Sally, Samuel Etu. Balls. We're back to we're back to not winning, James. I'm sorry. Thirteen still bothering me. Well, let it go. Move on. Let's come back. Let's circle back around. Let's answer the last question. Whoa. We'll get we'll Whoa. get we'll get Google on the case Whoa. if necessary. Whoa. Spanish for the first one. The first first, first question? Sorry. This is question 15. You've got a head start on him, boys. It's fine. It might be alright here, kids. 
15 and final, who is the only player to score for six clubs in the Champions League? Christian Vieri, Ronaldo de Lima. That's original Ronaldo. Is that right? Okay, thanks for confirming that one for me. <laughs> Nicholas Anelka, Zlatan Ibramovic. Balls. Oh, James, it's, it's not good, I'm afraid. It's one of two for me on that one. Give me the options again. I can't, I'm afraid. So there was Ronaldo. Christian. Like, as in Christian Vieri. Vieri. No, no, there's Fat Ronaldo. Fat Ronaldo. Ronaldo de la Mia. Yeah. Nicholas Anelka. Oh, Anelka was your Oh, Zlatan. The economy's that done. Ibramovic. Yeah, journeyman, if you like. Still playing. Write yourself, write yourself six down, because that's how many I got. I don't think I'm winning this journey. So the, the options for 13 were May, Seaman, De Gea, and Batty. And Batty. Yeah, Batty. Not, and which one has not won the league? <gasps> I mean, I know the answer I'm because I got mind. it right. I'm going to change mine. I got it right. And, I, and that means I, I'm better than you at the moment. Just I've changed mine. To the correct answer. So I think the correct answer. I think the correct answer. Let's have a look at some answers while we're here, shall we? Right, I've, I've changed mine for the third time now. <laughs> Playing the, play the odds on that one. Bullshit. Number one, mm. who is the only player to score an FA club no, FA <laughs> Cup, League Cup, Champions League, and UEFA Cup Finals. I didn't read that very well, but anyway, go. Steve G, isn't it? Yeah. Steve G. That's what I said, Steve G. Yeah. I got that one right. Right, so far I'm not on minus points. Give it time. Who won the first ever World Cup in 1930? James. You're a gay. You are a gay. <laughs> yes. It's two for two. I was <laughs> like, that's Uruguay. Or was it Brazil? After 1966, the World Cup trophy was stolen whilst on display in England. It was found by a dog, but what was his name? If in doubt, pick Les. Cucumber. Uh, if you put that in vinegar. Put in some, some brine, man. Yeah. Brine? Pickles. Pickles. If in doubt, pick Les. So, onions, yeah. Pick Les? Now, the only footballer to have played for Everton, Liverpool, Manchester City and Manchester United. Quasimodo. Peter Beardsley. Peter Beardsley. We're all doing real well here. Even, and even I got that. I had that before that came out yeah. and that is yeah. because this has come up on this yeah. podcast. Yeah, I think, we, I think we've probably had that question about three times in this <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Who doesn't think any of us ever think of him playing for education. United? Who scored the first goal in the history of the Premier League? Brian Dean. I got that one as well. No, that's where I fell off the horse. Oh, oh Sorry. everyone knows that, Stu. Everyone, even me, and I know nothing. Come on. I should have known that because football didn't exist before the Premier League. Did football it? started in 1992. Why is, fo- why is football? I don't know. Before 1992, it didn't exist. So. It did not. On the 16th of May 2015, Sadio Mane broke the record for the fastest hat trick in Premier League history, scoring three times in two minutes 56 seconds. Who held the previous record? Robbie Fowler? See what I've got. The correct answer. Stu. Sorry. I want to hear this first name. Who was Britain's first £1 million player? Stu. I went Francis. So, uh, as I was... As I, Jerry as, I, Francis. as I was right now, I put Travis Francis. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to go Jerry Francis. No, Travis Francis. I was Jerry right Francis now, is reason. the correct answer. <laughs> See, for some reason, I've got his name and obviously the Travis first, Banks in my The head, first half of the Travis quiz... Travis Kelsey. Or Travis <laughs> Kelsey. I've was very easy. I've been the second half more. of the quiz, I thought I was Three. absolutely winging. Did anyone else think that? Well, first half, you absolutely Lewis winging. Very easy. Second half... Completely. Yeah, sexy. there's some sketchy answers in here. Number eight. Who is the only player to have represented three different countries at the World Cup? Dejan Stankovic. 
Stankovic. I have. That was B, wasn't it? I've actually so. gone for Stankovic. I went B as well. I think it was Yugoslavia, Serbia, and Montenegro, and Serbia. Points all round. Yes. Which of these four Czech internationals didn't win the Champions League? I've gone for option A, whatever that was. I went A as well. Pavel Nedved. Fuck off, he must have won it for Juventus. Nope, because he got to the final with Juventus, but they got beat on penalties by Milan. You know something, boys, when he's right, he's right. I could, I could tell from the look that you just gave me <laughs> when he started. It, it, like, that, he, he's gone good. again. He's done it. He's gone again. The disappointing he's, he's in, thing he's is, in autism out of all those four players, he was clearly head and shoulders above them. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Like, during that, the, the, the original reading of the question, oh, what a player. And then, like, that has seriously not aged very well inside the last five minutes, has it? <laughs> he, was, he was great, though. Never was a great did player. He a, did he win the Ballon d'Or or whatever I it was think called? I think he might have, actually, yeah. Yeah, I I don't think, check whatever that, it was yeah. called at the time. I think it was just the Ballon d'Or, wasn't it? Was it? I think so, because did he win really it is. after uh, Owen had won it? I don't know. I think he did, James. Alright, oh, okay. Number 10, which of these Dutch players have not scored a Premier League hat-trick, James? I've gone in for the Forest player. Yeah, I've gone for the... I've gone, I've for, gone yeah, for, I've for the Hoidje Dong. PVH, as he's now going to be known. P- PVH. I didn't. I went for A. You should have done it. Is it? Van yeah. Hoidje Dong. I should have got this. I'm annoyed that I didn't. Number 11. I think this was a trick question. Yeah, I think it was. Which of these Englishmen has took me a to work out? Missed the penalty at a major international tournament. Are you going to say Lamps? Nope. nope. It's Gaza. I think it's Gaza as well. I went for Lamps. Lampard definitely missed the penalty. Oh! Definitely oh! Missed the penalty. Gascoigne, Gascoigne, Gascoigne didn't take one in the 90 World Cup. Of course. But then he only played at Euro 96 and he scored both of the penalties. I, I, yeah, I went Carragher, but, but the trick in question a bit comes from the famous bit of footage of him. It's him yeah. just crying, but he you didn't assume, take the he's, you assume he's yeah. crying because uh, he's missed the penalty. That very picture. That bitch right there. Yeah. Because it's Paul Gasco. Damn, I got it wrong. You obviously outthought me there. You should have got that as well after uh, who I, was it that missed the penalty. I should have got that. <sighs> well, which one? Shots. Oh, one. <laughs> yeah, fair well. Who's the only player to score a hat trick in the Premier League, FA Cup, and Champions League? I've gone Benny You. I've gone Benny You. Also went Benny You. Is it it's you. I think it, I think it was for Liverpool. You got one in the Champions League for Liverpool. Didn't yeah, I think so. Right then, which of these Davids did not win the Premier League? Well, I finally settled on the one that you couldn't say. Is it the De Gea? No, the Gea has definitely won it. He won it like his second or third year. I think it's David Batty. Because I, I don't agree. think he played enough games for Blackburn to qualify for a medal. But well, he's, he's the only one I haven't put. I went May, yeah. and then I was like, oh, "Yeah, I, or- I originally." I was, put like, May. I was like, "Bloody hell, May's won it with two different clubs." I originally put May, but then I thought no, because I think he was still at Blackburn when they won it. He, I think he's won it for Blackburn, and I think and he's, he's won it for United. United. But I think Batty joined later in the season. Yeah, and then, Black- I, for then I crossed it out and put Seaman, and I was like. No, he no. definitely did win. Yeah, it. and then I was like, De Gea. Because I was convinced that Batty was part of the... He was, he was he, in I the squad. Was ama- I thought he was a main Batty was, player. Batty was in the squad when Liverpool uh, when they when, went at Liverpool, but I don't think he qualified for a medal. I thought, do you know, I thought he was a mainstay of that team. But obviously he's, he's right, because I can tell by your face. I've gone for Batty as well. Yeah. It, does it, does it give the breakdown as why? There's nothing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, which of these players has not won back to back Champions League titles? Deco. I went with Deco. I've gone Palace. Because Paul won it in 2004, then it was Liverpool. I mean, it is like Liverpool. I wondered, what, what, did Deco not go to Barca? Yeah, but back to back. So Paul oh, won it in I, I wondered whether Barca won it after. Um, but Paul won it in 2004, yeah. then it was, then it was uh, Liverpool the next year. Oh, okay. And your 15th and final. Who is the only player to score for six clubs in the Champions League? I'd be annoyed if it comes out and it's Christy Vieri. Only, yeah. only but I've, I've gone Zlatan. So. Yeah. 
it's 50-50 between Zlatan and Anelka. I don't think Anelka's played for enough Champions League. <laughs> well, he is an absolute play. slag when so it comes Anelka to played for, so, yeah. I don't know if Liverpool were in it the season that he was there, but he certainly played for Arsenal in the Champions League, oh, Madrid Chelsea, in the Champions Chelsea. League, PSG, PSG possibly in the Champions League, Chelsea. No, you're right now. It might be Anelka. Is it Anelka? I went with Anelka. Oh, so it's Zlatan then. I got it wrong. Is it Zlatan? Zlatan. So, sorry, lads, but uh, full boat. Fifteen. <laughs> talk, 15. talk about building the suspense there, Williams. <laughs> Jesus, it's just God. absolutely. So, the, all so over. the point at the point is like, oh yeah, definitely found a great handicapping system. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing is, to get yourself I'm, them six points added to yours. Come on. I'm happy with eleven out of fifteen. You Ooh, should be. I got ten. I was happy with double figures. 11 out of 15 is not bad. Out of 6. 66% for all those maths fans, are I mean, it's almost as good as 15, but it's uh, not, is it? <laughs> what a pig. Just, uh, just remember them, James. When you leave the house next time, remember to uh, <laughs> strap on your big boy pants. <laughs> you bastard. Just uh, on the YouTube video, leave the comments below of what you currently think of Paul right now. <laughs> <laughs> If it rhymes with the phrase ball bag, then uh, you get extra points. Yeah. Who's on the hunt? I enjoyed that quiz. That was like quite interesting. Oh, well, good yeah, quiz. Thank you, Andrew. Andrew. It got a bit. It, the first half was was fairly easy. So when I when I look at a quiz, I look at the first few questions and I go, "Could I answer that? If I can answer it, then it's no good to anybody." But this is still in the category of really hard football I think, quiz. I think the only reason why I say that it was fairly easy was. For the first seven or eight questions, I could put the answer before the options yeah. came out. I mean, he probably thinks that about everything every time, but that's what happens when you've got special brain. Thank you, Andrew. Thank, thank you, Bob. James. Thank, thank you, James. Stuart. Thank you, Stuart. Most importantly, though, thank you, listeners slash viewers. And you know, I honestly thought he was going to most of all thank you, me. No, well, <laughs> not much of a ball bag. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'm mean, turning uh, up and showing you all how it's done. Exactly. There was you guys thinking it was me that was the uh, extra guest. No, no, Paul's ego every fucking week. <laughs> Just it's nice to see this little gap between you. And we you. have had these doors widened, <laughs> uh, but only towards the top. I've noticed. But we are going. We are going again uh, in the in the in the next season. It'll go again. I'm afraid. So there you have it. Another week done and dusted. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much, and uh, we'll see you next time. Stu, you're up. See ya. Uh, Waggle the mouse. Oh, no, you're good. Stop. Uh. So there we go. What do you think of that? Another week done. Another week of games gone. Another week of games to look forward to. Um, And, yeah, nice of Stu to make the trip over and join us for our our football time. YouTube watchers, make sure you're uh, subscribing, liking and sharing and commenting and all that good stuff. Everybody jump over to thecookiecast.com, check us out over there and uh, send us some love. So until next time, I'm going to say bye and I'll see you then. Bye.